Hello again. In this in this recording, we, this is this is actually the second recording in the in our educational series. And in this recording, I will I would like to show you how to how to um, properly um, let's say arrange the working space. This being the MetaTrader that was being um, the platform that was being uh, introduced to you on the previous on the previous. Uh, Recording. So what we are having in here, it is a one, a one hour euro dollar chart, and the, 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 ch the chart type it is with bar chart, and I would like to make it in candles. So I suggest candles because of the, because of the, um, of, of all the theories, all the candlesticks, candles, candlesticks theories out there. So actually, uh, you might find find them very very useful in your analysis and before before going forward I would like you to understand that trading is a serious business and like uh, like any business if you are to spend a lot of time looking at screens then you might just um, just have the proper setting that fit your needs so let's look let's try a little bit to make this uh, this uh, work environment Friendly. So let's say that you are analyzing the euro dollar pair. Then you want to, see, to look at at different uh, at different time frames in order to see uh, the closing of the candles and how how the um, how the price reacts on uh, on different time frames. Not o not only on the one hour chart. But let's start with the one hour chart. So what what you should do normally zoom a little bit in. Okay, so that we have uh, the candles more. More visible, and then with a right click and properties in here, you may actually work on the colors, on the background, how to change the colors of the candles, how to change the background, how to change the um, the settings for the um, for the screen actually to be to be friendly to your to your eyes, depending on your preferences. So you having here the background button. This is a black uh, black background. We will we will keep it black. The foreground, of course, white. The grid. If you want to have a grid, this is the grid. You'll make it. You'll make it gray. Or, for example, if you choose another color like this, and in here you have the preview. So the the actual the actual change the actual change is not being made in here, but the preview you are you are seeing on the on the left side. So if you don't like it, you come back and you put I don't know the the preview as being uh, as being gray. Then bar up. You should. Uh, you should sing, um, you should uh, keep it green because green signalizes uh, a movement to the upside and red bar down. Let's make it red normally. And in here you have the preview, okay? And a bull candle, the full body of the candle should be green like this, and the bear candle should be should be red like this. And then this is the colors. This is the colors bottom, and the common bottom actually. Uh, it is this one and shows you the other properties. So in here you have the chart on candlesticks. You can make it on bar chart or line chart. We said we will leave it on candlestick. Then show OHLC or not showing OHLC. OHLC meaning um, the open, high, low and close for a specific bar that or a specific candle that you are pointing with your, uh, with your mouse on. So we will not have this OHLC because we will use the data window on the, on the left screen. Show grid or not showing grid. We will choose not to show grid and chart auto scroll. We don't want the chart to auto scroll. Chart auto scroll meaning if you try to look on the on the um, the history back in the history, actually the chart will auto scroll back to uh, back to present value. So if you want to do your analysis, checking out how uh, how price. Um, reacted on uh, on past examples then you want to to have this chart shift and no auto scroll chart shift meaning if you are looking on the right side in here where the price where the price actually it is uh, it is moving right now you don't have any more room on the right side so in order to make your analysis for example if you want to project the price into the future so you have a chart shift and if you click OK, you see that the, prof, the chart is being shifted on the left side, and you have the room in here to project your uh, your analysis. So as you can see, this is a one-hour chart. This is a one-hour chart, and we've we've arranged a little bit, we've modified the 
um, the, um, the working space to be more user friendly to our eyes. Now this is only the one hour job and let's say with a right click in here you choose template in order not to do the same moves all over the time when you all the times when you open a new chart so let's write in here save template and we are saying that uh, the template should be uh, I don't know let's say uh, our template so click, click save like this and when you want to open a new chart not on to see the price on a different time frame then just click file new chart and then the euro dollar like this and from this moment you change the time frame so the previous chart in here you see this is a one hour chart this is a new chart that we've opened and then let's make it a four hour chart for example and then right click template and we save the template under the our template name and now we want to load the template so load the template and our template like this and here we go we have a new chart but this one this time on the four hour chart now if you want the chart to um, I don't know we can make it from the from the right side in here to be a little bit bigger or I don't know a little bit smaller depending on your preferences so you have the one hour chart the four hour chart to look at different closes and we said that we want definitely all the time to have the market watch in the place so this is the market watch with the euro dollar if you want to see the to analyze the Australian dollar or cable or whatever so we, we want to have the market watch on all the time frames and if you change the time frames in here the market watch just will, will just stay there uh, actually actually not, not going away and of course like introduced uh, last time we want the we want the uh, the data window to stay in here so if I'm looking for example at this 4 hour chart I'm looking at the previous candle in here and you are having the information on the left side of the screen there is there is the uh, the time that the, the bar opened the opening price high low close and uh, the volume so we change the colors the background we've opened a new a new uh, a new time frame let's open even another time frame so file new chart euro dollar and let's make this one with right click and template and choose our template from here and let's make this one a daily chart for example so we have one hour four hour daily chart so you want to see all the closing on different time frames in order to make the appropriate decision when trading so if you are tra if you are um, if you are trading in, and if you are looking for a currency pair to uh, to analyze make the habit of losing of, of, uh, of looking on different time frames in order to have a full picture for uh, for, uh, for your for your analysis now I, uh, I skipped last time and I want to show you um, today for example if you want to enter a trade so you just uh, pick your your trade go on the euro dollar for example double click on it and this is the euro dollar the uh, the order the order, um, um, let's say, uh, window, and you have in here the bid price and the, the ask price. The bid price, if you buy at the market, this is the volume. In here, you can you can switch uh, actually to uh, any any currency pair that you want. For example, if you go on the new New Zealand dollar, US dollar, you see there is a different spread from the 57.5. 59.5 so this is a two piece thread there is the commission that goes uh, to the broker or if you want the Aussie the Aussie should have a lower spread 65.1 with 65.9 so only a 0 0.8 spread or you may choose a euro dollar here is the volume that you may trade 0.1, 0 0.11, 0 0.2 0 one lot depending on your aggressiveness and the size of your account and you may choose uh, different type of orders market execution there is if you click buy or sell then you will go long or short at the market that being the market ex uh, execution so for example let's just click buy in here so buy and then you you have the order confirmation you will find all this information in the login in the login uh, uh, news and if you want to check the order that we just uh, gave then we should put we should open the terminal in here and this is, uh, this is a, a demo account 
and this is the order that we just bought by 0.2 euro dollar at the market we don't have the stop loss and the take profit uh, being uh, actually um, set commission this is the commission that already goes uh, goes for for your trade swap and the profit the potential profit and if you double click on if you double click on the on the order in here you will have actually the take profit and the stop loss in, in here for introducing the values but that would be the object of orders and type of orders will be the object of, uh, of, a, different, uh, of a different recording thank you very much and uh, stay tuned for our next recording